Christian, um, thrown right in, weren't you, in your debut on uh, on Tuesday night? How'd you find it? Yeah, um, I really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, I'd only got down there that day, um, and obviously being trapped on the bench, I was looking forward to it. But I thought the lads did really well. Um, disappointed with the result, obviously, but uh, you know, good to get my debut and. Um, good to get in the mix with the lads, really. Yeah, because I th did you train with Middlesbrough on the day and then had to sort of fly down here as quickly as you could? Yeah, we had a, a session in the morning. I wasn't really told about it. And then uh, someone pulled me afterwards to stop me doing the second session um, and told me there's a possibility I'd be involved tonight. So obviously uh, I was uh, rushing down afterwards trying to get things sorted and got it just before the meet, really. And then uh, it was a bit of a whirlwind. But no, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Did you speak to Jack Baldwin before you signed on the dotted line? No, it was literally so quick that uh, I actually I, I sent him a message when I was on my way down. Um, obviously, I wasn't texting and driving, but uh, <laughs> I, I did speak to him on my way down here. Um, but I only found out in the morning, really, that it was going to happen. So it was pretty rushed. Yeah. Nice to, to have a familiar face there in the camp. You played plenty of games with him at Hartlepool, of course. Yeah, no, me and Jack got on really well there as well, and it's obviously nice to have him here, and so I can you know speak to him and see what the deal is. And but the lads seem like a good bunch, really. So you got no problems that end, really. So that's good. Yeah. Did you know plenty about Peterborough when when you were told about the interest? Yeah, and I, I was personally delighted because obviously uh, I knew what sort of club it, it was. You know, it's got loads of ambition, uh, a really good young team, and play the right way, play the way I like to play, and a you know a great manager. And obviously only going forward really and pushing for promotion last year, I think they were unlucky. Um, and then hopefully the same this year and hopefully we can go one better. Yeah, and of course they've got a history of developing young players and, and generally young players move on to, to higher divisions. We've seen it with defenders in the past, of course, with the likes of Ryan Bennett. Yeah, and uh, Bennett and, you know, went to Norwich, didn't he? And he's doing well and uh, obviously you got the most recent with uh, Britt Sumalonga and a couple of other players like Gale and who's done very well. And the, the people have got a, a notorious for that and... Obviously, everyone wants to be a part of it, and I think it's a great place to develop young players. And you just look at the squad. I think I saw them last night. Young, pa powerful, plenty of energy, and it's something that's really interesting. And I'm excited to be a part of. Yeah, it's going to be a tough place to make your, your full debut if you start on Saturday. Bradford, a team going well, difficult game. Yeah, they're a good side, physical side. Um, they get good crowds there as well, and it's a, it's a great club as well. So I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I think. Uh, as I said, a physical with Hansen up front, but uh, it'll be a good test for us and hopefully settle in and we can go and get the three points away. Yeah. Do you look forward to those kind of battles with big Hansen? Yeah, obviously I've already got my eye on him and hopefully there'll be a good battle there. Um, but they've got some other good players as well, so it's not like a, a one-man team or anything. Um, but I think we'll have a look at the way we set up and hopefully we can go and do a job. Yeah. How important was your, your experience with Hartlepool last year in League 2 for your, your grounding and your development as a player, do you think? Oh, massive for me. Um, just fantastic to get a season where you're playing and you're involved. Uh, you understand the, the tricks of the trade and as a defender. Um, you know, it's completely different to development football and I think I really needed that. And I, Obviously, Jack was there and we were both kind of learning together at that stage and obviously he's come and done really well. And uh, obviously, I'd love to follow his footsteps, really. Yeah, and you've come here to, to win promotion. That's the ambition, I guess. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what an achievement that would be in. Back in the championship, um, it'll be a couple of years out, and uh, hopefully that's what we can do. Yeah, I think you've got quite an interesting history, haven't you? Because you, you played football obviously for a while, but did you take a bit of time out just to make sure you had your education, something to fall back on? Yeah, um, I dropped out of the youth system and into non league stuff, and uh, I had to make a tough decision at around 18 and decided to go to university. Um, did two years there and then caught the eye of Middlesbrough and decided to go back into it. I uh, managed to finish my degree, which was nice, and um, now it's me football career is taking me here. So, yeah, was it always the ambition to be a footballer? You just wanted to make sure you had a had a good degree for the future, I guess. Yeah, it was always my ambition, but uh, sometimes things don't work out, and you find yourself having to go other paths. And obviously, I went that way, and luckily, it still worked out for me. But I realised it doesn't work out for everybody football, so I thought you know it's always important to have something to fall back on. Yeah, and of course it's a, an exciting opportunity now for you, isn't it? Early on in the season, as you say, a young squad, it seems to, to be a very enthusiastic young squad as well. Your manager just saying there, how he comes in and it makes him feel younger with these, these players sort of buzzing around him. Yeah, no, it's a young squad, like I said before, plenty of energy, change rooms are buzzing. 
Um, if you're in your mid-20s, you're probably a senior player here. So it's great to be a part of that and hopefully you know, that energy transfers on the pitch as I, I thought it did on Tuesday night. And uh, just looking forward to being a part of it. Yeah, I spoke to Jack Baldwin on Tuesday just to get the lowdown on you, and he said he'd give you a guided tour of the, the city. Is he taking? Have you taken him up on that offer yet? Yeah, he said that. I haven't, uh, I haven't had any uh, notice from him yet. Um, no, I think he'll show me around. I'm just going to get my feet settled in and get uh, get used to things here, and then I'll have a look around and see what Peter has got to offer. Yeah.